the hell? Are we being attacked by the Nova Corps? I think we are. I don't remember inviting you two. Oh shit. Oh. How about some fresh air? Say yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. There's no air in space. Oops. Oh, they'll be after bloody thingies. Wait. Let me fight. You trapped me on this piece of junk, and now we're surrounded by pissed-off Kree. I don't want to die here, and neither do you. If you keep me here, they'll kill you, your friends, and then they'll come for me, too. Let me out. Without me, you're just gonna get us all killed. It's your only option. Let me fight, and those Kree are dead in minutes. Okay, but one move against my crew. Any of them gets hurt, and this little trust exercise is over. Do you understand? I understand. When we got our arm fixed, like, but maybe it should still be good. Heads up! These are some invisible enemies. Cowards! Oh my lord, drugs! <laughs> Does the music help him fight or something? Tracks, you okay? Tracks. Not okay. He's breathing. Hurry! Come on! Watch out! Nebula's escaped. Jokes on you! I was set free. Oh crap. Here! This one's yours! Boom! Oh my god, what a shot! Whoa! That's my seat! Oh, get off me. Oh, this is the Kree guys, not the Nova Corps. I did say the Kree, I don't know. Oh, stabby stabby the hand. I'm gonna be Gamora now, which is pretty cool. Oof. Come on, Gamora, you got this. Skedaddle. Gamora's a badass. Oof. Don't get the wrong idea. This is to save my own skin, not yours. <sighs> Could have guessed. I think it was a uh, Nebula that did that punch there. I thought it was Gamora. We've got to move now. <sighs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh my! What's that? And have we thrown that all the people out? Is the engine room? Rocket. I'll secure the bridge and keep an eye on Nebula. Just get the power back on. Oof. I am Root. Right. Engine room. Oh, don't tell me somebody's gotten in there and hurt him. Rocket! Ah! <sighs> Think you could possibly win against the Kree? Now that I've obtained the Eternity Forge for Hala. Ah, oh, stop, dude. Just, just stop. I really don't care. How dare you speak to me like that? How dare I? <laughs> you come on my ship, you bust up my team, and then you go about spouting your evil plan like a bad monster movie? Hold your tongue! Hala will. Oh, Hala can kiss my beautiful Earth ass. Hmm. What's happening right now? Hey guy! What's it like being on fire? Ah, that bad, huh? 
<laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you must think you're clever, Peter Quill, but you can't run forever. The forge will be mine. Do not be foolish. Its purpose is much greater than this. I saw the damage Rocket did to your ship, lady. You're gonna have to dock soon, and you know it. And you can't keep running, either. You will see how wrong you are. <sighs> She's speaking through him? That's weird. Peter, you better get the engines running. The Revenant's weapons are coming online. Rocket, I'm on it. Gamora, set a course for Emineos. Drop off our stowaways on the way there. Oh, dead guys. <laughs> Oh, she's pissed Rocket sitting in her chair. You think your mom is really down there? Um, hope so. I hope she is. I hope I'll get to see her again. Talk to her. Just one more minute. You'd do almost anything to get that. I mean... If you could bring your mom back, what then? You still gonna be doing this? Uh, no, we're not gonna leave. Oh, come on, I wouldn't do that to you guys. The Guardians stick together, no matter what. And what, Meredith Quill becomes our new pilot? Huh. Maybe. This is it. So this is the Semnios place. What's that like, green layer though around it? So, what now? I'm sure Peter has a plan. Oh, you're coming. Do you have a plan, right? Uh, well, I don't know, so... Come on, guys. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We don't need plans. Can't argue with that. <laughs> okay. I thought we would have gotten a bit closer before jumping out, but okay. Well. It's lighting up again. What I don't understand is why was it charged when uh, Star Lord or Peter Quill got revived, but it wasn't for uh, Lila. What was that about? Let's get the translating then. Or maybe we're just gonna walk through this light. Like that, you're not gonna show us? Oh my lord, that's not a good way to end it. Oh. Did you prioritize getting Nebula to translate the relic or did you go to half world with rocket first? 
You earn 58.1% of players by the Rocket's personal journey over fetching Nebula from the Nova Core. 20.4% of players by the getting Nebula to transfer the relic, leaving Rocket to make his personal journey alone. 21.6% of players by Oratized Rocket's personal journey. Oh, nowhere. Ah, so. Wait, no, what? Hmm. I don't really get all that. That's kind of confusing. Why is your three choices? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If you know what that means, tell me. I'm guessing the nowhere thing would have been the initial choice. But then... What's the second one? I don't get that. That's weird. Drop it, carry Lila out of the lab, or take her advice and escape. Even 83.2% of players denied Lila's last request and risked Rocket's life to carry her out in the sunshine. I think we did the right choice there, no. She wanted to see what outside looked like. I'm assuming she'd been taken since birth, which is so cruel. Um, so at least we got to see her. At least she got to see outside. She looked at more drugs and shipped the guard Nebula. 80.6% of players players come on and charge regarding her sister Nebula. And did you tell Rocket to keep this computer or get rid of it? You 86.7% of players have helped Rocket retain his memory of Lila by telling him to hold on to his broken wrist computer. Uh, did you free Nebula so she could help you fight the free or help or keep her locked in the one's room? You and 79% of players released Nebula to help fight the Kree. 77% of players refused Nebula's request to help fight and get to imprisoned. Uh, and you, 0.3% of players ignored Nebula's offer to help fight and get to imprisoned. So that would have just been letting the timer run out of the bottom one. Okay. Hmm. Well, this was kind of a. I mean, it was okay, but. It was kind of lacking something. You know, a big moment. It was lacking. It was lacking some, I mean, I really like the rocket thing, Rocket and Lila, but I don't know. I don't know. The last one ended so good. Maybe that's why I'm just a little. I don't know. Let's see what happens next. It just never stopped. We were at each other's throats over it. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot! Okay, calm your tits. You ever play that game, Monkey in the Middle? No? I well, here's the thing. Piggy in the Middle. There's a bunch of jerks. They stand in a circle. And they toss a ball around. And some poor turd in the middle tries to catch the ball. That turd, that's the monkey. And I... <laughs> I was that turd. Ugh, Peter just... He's not the most mature. Sometimes he can be just a huge... <sighs> Sorry. It drives me crazy. Crazy. I don't think I was really prepared for what we found on Emios. Oh, Peter was definitely not prepared. At all. You don't look surprised. Nah, I got my ship back, and that was that. For a while. Worried? Hell, I've never been happier in my life. Quill, all of them, they fell into a dark hole. Real dark. Real, real dark. All that ancient stuff we found? Guess what? It wasn't meant to be found. Honestly, why didn't they just bury it? You know, why'd they leave all these clues and crap? Just hide it better. It's so dumb. I mean, Hala, I mean, she might have. Who knows? Then again, maybe she would have stopped if it wasn't for us. I felt like Nebula was coming around. I don't know. Certainly, she was just as angry as she always was. For a little while, I thought it could 
be just like it was before. Before Tarval. Oh yeah. We real, real, real dog. We haven't found out what that real, Tarval real, was. Real, real. And when we finally found her, I I couldn't make sense of it. None of us could. And what she showed us. Oh yeah, the second it was out of her mouth, I knew. I mean, you get a chance like that. So much power in your hands. What would you do if you had to make that same choice? No one should ever have that much power. Ever. Everybody looking at you? You know the thing about responsibility? It sucks. Like a lot. Real, real, real dark. Dark, man. You know? Still fun, though. Hmm. This is really interesting now. Even though I felt this was kind of a, for the most part, kind of a lock in episode. It was still okay. I just, just, just locking something, you know? It was locking something. The ending was kind of. Eh. I, but going by that little preview thing, or, or whatever you want to call that, it seems like they found Peter's mother, but were kind of disappointed. And maybe she was someone they weren't expecting. That's the feeling I'm getting. That's, at least that's what I was getting from that. I don't know what you maybe thought. Feel free to tell me. There's Gamora eating someone's thumb. But yeah, it was, it was just... I really liked the rocket thing. The rocket thing was really good. But... It just was lacking something. I don't know, man. Nothing really eventful happened apart from that. I don't, I don't really know what to say about it. Um, as a mysterious new ally appears, providing more questions than answers, Mima Gamora must decide if blood is type of the metal when she's supposed to deal with a figure from her past. Hmm. So it's probably her. It's probably um, Nebula. I think it will be the mum, Peter's mum, but she won't be what they thought she would be. Maybe she'll be someone we've met already or something. Or she just like a total bitch or something, I don't know. That's if if that's the case, that's what I'm I'm guessing, but I don't know, I kinda of disappointed with this episode. I just, just kinda of expected a bit more. Um still good, it was still okay, but I expected a little more. I definitely thought the first episode was better, in my opinion. Um, there's no epic fight as well, you know, there was an epic fight in the first one. A lot of interestingness, it's a word. But, um, not so much this time. Well, there you have it. That's the end of this one. Um, the next uh, game we'll be doing is Minecraft Story Mode, Season 2, Episode 1, when it comes out. Um, should be should be good. If you did see the, the first season, I would recommend it. It was alright. I liked it. I thought it was good. Some people didn't, but you know, I thought I quite liked it. I thought it was okay. It means tell just the Telltale thing, so if you like the Telltale stuff, I'd I'd highly recommend giving it a watch. And there's eight episodes as well, so there's, there's a fair few episodes. So I'm interested to see where, where, where they're going to go with that, because I thought they thought it ended kind of good. I don't, I don't know where they'll go with it. Actually, I can't remember how it ended. I think they just they conquered everything. I can't remember. I need to look it up. Anyhow, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to that like button, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.